high-end power cables, they have many advantages to the stock, thin and cheaply made cords. Some of them include much superior build quality, aesthetics, durability, the ability to choose a perfect length and the most importantly, possible sound quality improvements. That's why I decided to replace all power cables in my audio setups with better ones to see what happens and what improvements each one of them can bring. I also upgraded one more secret part of my setups, but you'll have to watch the video to find out what it was and why it surprised me more than I expected. Let's start with the general overview of the power cords I have. They are the Monos Audio P902E6R and you can get them for under 150 bucks for a 180 cm version in either EU or the US variants. I have got the European version, but the only difference between both is the plug style. Getting into the technical details, these cables are thick, with a 17mm diameter. They use high purity 99.998% OFC copper for excellent conductivity and feature 5.5 square millimeter cross section. They come with 100% copper shielding to minimize interference and tefl insulation. This makes it feel really strong but also makes it very stiff, especially for shorter lengths. It comes with an aluminum piece that has a copper-colored badge, which does not serve any purpose besides just looking pretty, but it adds that one more bit of a premium feel. Moving to the plugs, they are big. They use high-purity copper conductors for optimal signal transmission and feature a durable aluminum alloy body. This entire element with a blue sticker is metal not plastic. The plugs are also rated for a maximum of 16 amps and 250 volts AC. The pins have an anti-corrosion plating, which doesn't affect the resistance a lot, but ensures longevity. I prefer having some kind of thin plating on my plugs instead of bare copper. It also fits the aesthetics of the cable. How does it affect the sound quality when used with different components though? I've invested a lot of time and effort into this. Your support by leaving a like down below would be much appreciated. First, I tried it with my high-end Class A speaker amplifier, which takes a tiny electrical signal and pumps it up driving your speakers. The improvements I noticed were tighter bass, a thicker gauge cable with its increased capacity for current flow can ensure a steady stream of power. This leads to tighter bass, especially during dynamic passages. Of course, it won't fix your room problems, so don't think about it that way. The bass only got more refined, yet more present in the frequency spectrum. Cleaner overall sound. Think of dirty electricity as static on radio. A better power cable can help filter out some of this electrical noise, or simply don't pick up as much noise from the outside, leading to a cleaner overall experience. How about the preamplifiers? They handle the sensitive, low-level signals coming from your source, like a turntable or a streamer. With better power cables, it was an upgrade in many areas, but a small one. Wider soundstage, the minimization of an electromagnetic interference from other devices in the system translates to a quieter common noise on both channels. Fewer similarities in the left and the right signals mean better channel separation, which is mostly what Soundstage is about. Reduced background noise. Ever heard a slight hiss coming from your speakers when the music stops? This can be caused by electrical noise in your system that's being left unfiltered by a preamp. Minimizing this effect can create a more immersive listening experience. With a quiet background, you'll be able to appreciate every single delicate keystroke. Lastly, let's get to the digital side of things. A DAC powered by an upgraded power cable. How much did it help? Please subscribe to my channel if you've watched this video so far. And let's get to it. Enhanced clarity and detail. This ties back to the reduction in electrical noise. Often there can be a noticeable, but barely so, improvement in the overall clarity of the sound. Cleaner and more transparent presentation that reveals subtle nuances in the performer's voice, like texture and breath control, are always nice. However, you have to keep in mind that this effect is quite tiny. Improved timber. Here, the impact of power cables is highly subjective, yet apparent. 
Generally, you can expect improvements in the naturalness of the sound and the accuracy of timbre. It can also result in a more realistic and lifelike reproduction of the instrument's sound, which allows you to appreciate its unique sonic characteristics. To amplify this effect, I have a bonus for you – digital cables. And yes, they can make an actual, perceivable difference. Monos Audio produces hi-fi USB cables. You can get them in a variety of lengths, and the price isn't super high. Their connectors are very high quality and have an aluminum finish. The USB plugs are gold-plated to avoid corrosion. In addition to that, there are high-purity copper internal conductors that are directional. In terms of the thickness, they are quite thick for a USB cable, but it's nothing crazy. I would say that it's roughly three times as thick as a standard, cheap USB data cable. The very, very soft material braiding helps a lot in giving a more luxurious feel. Technical specifications are of course very important, but what sonic enhancements can it bring? Details. Standard USB data cables can often leave a veil on the sound. Upgrading to a well-made cable with superior shielding and construction can be like clearing away that haze. You'll start hearing more than before. And trust me, I was going back and forth between a regular cable and this one, as I was left in a disbelief that the difference could be that big for just a USB cable. Soundstage depth. Standard cables can sometimes restrict the illusion of depth, making the instruments feel congested and close together. A better cable can result in a deeper, but in this case, not that much more expansive sonic environment.